What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Device Vids. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a new city of tweak called Control Pain. This is available for 99 cents. And what this tweak does is it gives you a supercharged version of Control Center. So basically, after you install the tweak, you will need to set it up. But I have it set, so when I actually press my home button, I get this tweak. So as you can see right here, it's a completely new interface. It comes in from the side. And you have various options, much more than Control Center allows. So of course, you still have your sliders for volume and brightness down here that work normally. But you also have power off and respring controls, and you have tons and tons of toggles. As you can see right here, much more than Control Center ever allowed. You can do stuff like toggle LTE, um, you know, tons of other things like VPN, you know, much more in depth. And you just have a lot more controls. So, Control Center, as you can see right there, only allows you to have a few, only five. But this tweak gives you various ones. And there are various options to configure for the tweak. So, go into settings after you have installed it. And from here, of course, you could enable or disable the tweak, and then you have activation methods. This is how you actually get the tweak to show up. I usually have triple press the home button. This goes through activator, you know, the tweak, so it's very easy to use. Then we have some more settings down here. So as you can see right here, we could configure how light it is, the look. It's currently set to light, just like this, but you can set it to dark or extra light. You could also change sides, so it sh and as opposed to popping up from the right side of the screen, it pops up from the left. Um, that's lefty mode here. Then you have show separators if you want to show those separators in here, as you can see, between sections. Um, then there's use confirmation alert. This is basically with certain actions it asks you uh, two times just to make sure you want to do it. You could toggle whether you want that on or off. You could also have it so it replaces the power screen. So when I'm going to power off my device, it's going to you know replace the normal slide to power off with this because it does have the power off option. And this is on right now, and it is on by default. Then we have some more sliders down here. For example, we could change the animation duration of the view, and that's basically how long it takes to slide out and slide back in. You also change the alpha of the dimming view, and that's basically how it's blurred here, just kind of the color consistency of this blur. You could change that. Uh, and then you could also change the corner radius, which is basically how uh, circular or how square uh, the edges of down here and up here are. I'm just going to make it a little bit uh, different with the radius. I'm going to make it a little bit more rounded. The more you go to the right, the more rounded. I'm just going to change this a little bit, change the alpha, and I'm going to change the animation as well. The more to the right, the slower. So now you will need to respring to apply all your changes. You can do that with this button, and just select yes, and it's going to respring. All right, and now as you can see, if I open up this tweak, all the changes did take into effect. You can see it moved in slower, it's darker, and the corners are rounded, and it goes out slower as well. And once again, this tweak's called Control Paint. It's available for 99 cents. And again, it gives you much more options than your traditional control center allows. And for those of you wondering, unfortunately, it does not allow you to customize which toggles will show here. So as you can see here, it just basically comes as it is. There's no real way to uh, you know, configure what shows and what doesn't show here. But I'm not going to complain because it's certainly much more than Apple would have ever allowed us. And once again, it's available for 99 cents. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.